Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Ed from High Media TV, and today, welcome back to Late Night News. We're going to get into your top headline of the day with of J.D. Vance come, being relatively candid about the Haitian immigrant pet evil claims. But first, our headlines for the day. Firstly, Chattanooga uh, Volkswagen workers rally for a fair labor union, fair labor as union talks begin. They had a historic 3 to 1 vote to join the UAW earlier this year. Meanwhile, FBI continued to investigate the apparent assassination Trump uh, attempt of Trump on Florida. Surprise! It was a Republican that tried to shoot him. Century are braces for even more flooding as the death toll rises. Uh, uh, at least 14 dead after heavy rains and flooding and rising rivers are put more places on alert. The U.S. Navy makes history by launching its first co-ed submarine by breaking barriers. Please, for the love of God, let both condoms and birth control be readily available. This week, the Coast Guard's Marine Board of Investigation will hear two weeks of testimony from former employees of Ocean Gate, the company that operates the uh, to to invest in in uh, hearings that begin this week. And on to our main story, J.D. Vance appears to admit a tale about Haitian immigrants eating pets is made up as he loses pool on scene with a CNN host. An ugly week of racist fear mongering kicked off. This is, by the way, by John Bowden from The Independent. Kicked off by Donald Trump's vile debate claim that Haitian immigrants were eating the dogs of pet owners in Ohio, town came to a head Sunday as J.D. Vance, the ex-president's top surrogate, faced journalist questions. The conspiracy was fact-checked in real time by ABC's David Moore Meyer, which noted the city officials have looked into the claim and found it to be baseless, but the damage was already done. Nearly a week later, Vance found himself once again entering, entering for his running mate's actions after days of shocking fallout. In Springfield, Ohio, where residents reported flyers dropped by the Ku Klux Klan, as well as several threats of bombings or mass shootings, which, by the way, we, which, by the way, we talked about earlier last week, uh, which ended up shutting down schools. The latest of which at Wittenberg University, which occurred Saturday night, just hours before fans would go on the air. On Sunday, the Ohio junior senator was pressed by journalists as to why the Trump campaign was spreading a claim that it could provide no evidence for beyond the anecdotal I heard it on television excuse Trump himself gave during the debate. Uh, quote, if I have to create story, Vance said, if I have to create stories that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do because you guys are completely letting Kamala Harris coast. The apparent confusion prompted Dana Bash to put out, you just said that this, that this is a story you created. The exchange grew fiery, with Vance hitting out at Bash for what he claimed to be a frankly disgusting question. She pointed out there was zero evidence for the claims and the, and the tales that triggered bomb threats in Springfield. Instead of saying things that are wrong and actually causing hospital schools and government buildings to be evacuated because of bomb threats because cats of the dog thing, why not actually be constructed of, in helping better integrate them in the community, she asked. Vance hit back at Bash, saying her questions were more appropriate for a Democratic propagandist than for an American journalist, and then slammed her for accusing him of inciting violence against the community when all I've done is surface the complaints of my constituents. As the sparring continued, he fumed, Dana, would you like me to ask questions and then let, would you like to ask me questions and let me answer them, or would you like to debate me on these topics? I'm happy to be here to talk about policy, but you're going to interrupt me every single time I open my mouth. It's because every time you open your fucking mouth, you lie. Then why am I even doing this? Yes, why are you even doing this? No, like, this is not, look, nobody's gonna vote for your ass on this. Uh, he's just goofy. Like, here's the thing, like, these motherfuckers lie. They, they lie. Like, Trump, like, 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 the, there is a 30%, there, there is a Hitlerite percentage of the population that wants to deport, jail, or, and or kill people that they do not approve of like that like like part of project 2025 there's literally a line saying deportation of dissidents i'd get deported because they because i disagree with like what they're trying to do so <sighs> we live in a society hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And 
given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.